Hello everyone, it's your boy Nicovelli King, and you're on Nicovelli TV. As you can see, the Knicks just lost to the Sacramento Kings 102 to 99. That's right. Now let me break down the stats before I break down what went happened. Oh, that's how I feel about the game. Oh, bullshit. Well, here we go. Trey Burke had 11 points, 6 assists. Moutier had 0 points, 3 assists. Frank Militina, 7 points, 5 assists. Cloud Quinn had 14 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. And Canna had 14 points and 16 rebounds. We was down 19 points, 9 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And, you know, we tried to make a rally comeback when we tied it at 97-97. And we also had a 22-5 run in the fourth quarter. You know? Beasley... Tied the game at 97 with a hundred with a minute and nine seconds left. But it still wasn't enough. My question to Jeff Hornacek is, why are you still here? How can you play a point guard like Moutier who still needs experience? Come on now, we still training Frank Nilatina. Even though Frank Nilatina's coming out his shell. Moutier, come on, how you gonna I I, I don't get it, man. And you put Trey Burke in the back burner for Moutier? Are you serious? You can't be serious. Huh? And then you got the nerve to say that the players on your team think they playing hard. No. I think you think you coaching hard. You're a horrible coach, man. Oh, my fucking God. Jeff Hornacek is so horrible, man. I don't get it, man. I don't get it, man, at all. You know, the Knicks versus the Sacramento Kings, as far as, as assists, it was dead even at 21-21. Stills, the Knicks had eight stills, Kings had five. Turnovers, Knicks had 13, Kings had 11. Field goal, it was dead even at 45%. You know, free throws, Knicks shot for 13 for 18. And the Kings was perfect from the field goal, 11-11. Fast breaks, the Knicks had nine, Kings had 10. And offensively, on the offensive boards, it's 15-7. to seven. And still wasn't enough. Courtney Lee, he missed them free throws, them clutch. And let's talk about that introvert whistle. What the fuck was that? Either you were scoring, you was calling the timeout, Jeff, on the sack, or you wasn't. Let's talk about that. I believe he was calling a timeout. He probably fucked up, called it at the wrong minute. But either way it goes, man, you are a horrible, horrible coach, man. You make all this fuss about Moutier, and he done nothing. Nothing. Donut. And you want to point fingers at Michael Beasley? You want to leave Beasley in? And, and, and get in his ear and talk shit to him. But you don't take Moody 8 out, right? Who does nothing for you. And you put in Trey Burke whenever you decide you want to put in. And then had the nerve to say that Trey Burke ain't had all, all that great game either. Shit. His game is only as good as he's on the court. What is wrong with you? Yo, he got to go, man. He got to go. And what's going to happen when we get a new coach? He going to uh shit on the players he didn't bring in? Because that's what it seems like the Knicks organization is doing, man. Phil Jackson had his players he wanted. And when the next coach came after Phil, and Phil wasn't even coaching. But yet he was.